uh, making a quick video on the Supnova battery monitor. This is a great little unit. Uh, it's really cheap and it allows you to do a lot of customization. A lot of these small cheap units, they only have preset profiles. So like if you know whatever your, your battery voltage is, um, it'll just have a presetting for that, but it won't allow you to actually customize it. Um, so in this case, I got this running on my Blue Eddy AC50S out of these unregulated ports. This thing has a three series battery in it, lithium ion. So you could do on this first setting here, we're gonna go in here and show you how to use this. Press and hold set. And the first, this uh, first setting menu, there's seven menus. The first one are the preset profiles. So like I said, in this, uh, with this Blue Eddy, you could just choose the, uh, the three series lithium ion, and then it would have the preset voltages for 0% and 100%, right? But what's nice about this unit is you can actually set your own custom voltage. So I don't think there's any need to really use the preset profile but it is there if you wanted to use it. So to go to the next one, just hit set. All right, number two, you're then you're gonna hit the power button. That's gonna go into that menu. This says 30 off. This is for the automatic screen timeout. So when it says off, the number on the left side doesn't matter because that automatic timeout is just, it's, it's off. So if it said 30 on, it would go off by itself after 30 seconds. And you can change that number on the left. But I'll tell you why in a, in a second here, why I like to have it off. So to save it, press and hold set, and it goes back to where, where it was at the home screen. And just to show you, when you have that auto time off off, the screen's always on, but you can just hit the power button to turn it off, turn it back on, and then it'll stay on. So press and hold set to go back to the setting menu. Tap it. All right, number three, press the power button. This is your custom uh, voltage parameters. So the left side is 0%, the right side is 100%. And you can set these to whatever you want. So in this case with this Blue Eddy, um, this Blue Eddy actually only allows you to use about 90% of the battery. So if you use that preset profile, it wouldn't match up well with the um, display here, right? So this, with this, you can actually, you can actually go through this and kind of, kind of tweak it and try to get it to match up with the Blue Eddy as best as possible. Or if you wanted to, like, say, preserve battery life, and you could have it set so that, like, uh, a, a higher voltage for zero percent, so that it never actually runs down to the true zero percent, if you know what I mean. So you can do anything you want with this. And uh, actually, the, the next one I'm going to show you, press and hold that to save. Press and hold again. Menu. Tap the setting button. Number four, press the power button. This is the alarm. So this is the low voltage alarm. So at 10.3 volts, this thing will actually start beeping, which is just uh, an awesome feature. A lot of these power stations... When the battery's getting low, they might have like something come up on the screen that starts blinking. Screen might start blinking. That doesn't do you any good, right? Because if you're not looking at it, you're not going to notice that. So with this, you can have this thing running. As long as it's in the room with you or even in the house, you can you have this thing running. And then you can have this set at any voltage you want, and it'll start beeping. And then you know, hey, you're running out of juice, shut it down. And you can shut this thing off before the battery dies or before it just shuts off on you, right? So this is a, a really nice feature. And the one thing about it is in order for that alarm to work, the screen, this backlight has to be on. So that's why I don't recommend using that auto screen uh, shut off, timeout or whatever. Because if the screen's not on, if this light's not on, then the alarm won't work. All right. So then go back into the settings menu. Uh, there's seven, there's actually seven little menus in here. I don't know what five and six do. Um, if someone knows, leave a comment down below. And then number seven is just the high voltage alarm. So same thing, if you don't wanna charge your battery all the way up to 
you want to preserve it, you can do that. I don't even use that on this. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's all the settings for this. Uh, highly recommend getting it, especially if you have this Blue Eddy AC50S, but you can use this on any kind of uh, DC battery system, really.